Hi, my name is Rob Curto, and welcome to my series of mini accordion lessons. These are just thoughts, ideas, tidbits of information, and techniques that have helped me to become a better accordion player. So, I like to start my practice session with my scales. The scales will help you learn the shape and pattern of each key on the keyboard. On a keyboard instrument, each key has a different shape and we really want to get that shape underneath our fingers. It'll help you to work on your technique, playing a nice with a nice legato smooth tone. And in addition to that, doing the scales first in your practice session helps to calm your mind and helps you to focus so that you can do the other work that you'll need to do during your practice session. So I like to work with a metronome when I do my scales. It's very helpful. And I'll start at a nice slow tempo. Let's, we'll do eighth notes at, I'm at 60 beats per minute. And here I'm going to play it in two octaves. And listen to how I'm keeping the tone legato. All of the notes are connected. They're not overlapping. There's no space between each note. And the tone is even and steady. That's what we're practicing. There are no notes that are jumping out louder than others or too soft. It's nice and even. And we're really feeling the, the kinesthetic feeling of each key underneath our fingers. We're starting at a slow tempo. Slow is good. Okay, we're going to do a major scale in two octaves. Here's G major. <laughs> And then maybe you'll go up chromatically. You'll do them. Next, you'll do it in the key of G sharp, and then A, A sharp or B flat, B, key of C, C sharp, and so on. You can also practice them in fourths. You want to memorize your fourths. So do it in G, C, F, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B, E, A, D, G. So at the beginning of your practice session, you could go through all of your major scales in every key, playing them, again, nice and legato, nice and smooth and even. Another week, you could work on a different type of minor scale. You could work on a diminished scale. There are all kinds of scales to work on, but we'll start with major scales. And I think one of the most useful things that I figured out as a way to practice the scales is to integrate your bellows control into this practice. And I have sort of a catchy name for it. I call it the eight and eight, four and four, two and two, one and one method. So maybe I'll take the key of G and I'll do this first with the bellows, eight out and eight in, an octave out, an octave in, then four and four, two and two, one and one. Here we go. Four and four. the two and two and the one and one especially are going to be harder to keep a legato sound going but you do the best you can i would love to go into both scales arpeggios as well as hannon and other types of technical exercises with you 
If you're interested in taking private lessons with me over Zoom, contact me through my website, robcurto.com, and I would love to talk with you further. Enjoy music, enjoy the accordion, and best of luck.